providing safe and effective vaccines to pregnant women was something that I became interested in when I first joined the Office of Vaccines in 95. At that time, however, there was not really interest by vaccine companies to develop these products. And that had to do probably a lot with liability issues because pregnant women were considered a vulnerable population. You had not only the woman, but you had the developing fetus. And if something would happen as a result of vaccine administration, there could be dire consequences. So vaccine developers were really very careful. But I worked with others in FDA and we were saying the time has passed where we say we have to protect pregnant women from research. We have to say we need to protect them through research. And what made a difference a little bit was actually the, the H1N1 2009 pandemic. Because at that time, one saw that this virus really had terrible effects on a pregnant mom and their baby. So they were especially vulnerable to this virus. So the NIH did do studies in pregnant women to look at the safety and immunogenicity of the product. And pregnant women did enroll in these trials because there was this pandemic. And it was also an issue during the 2014 to 16 Ebola outbreak that pregnant women, again, were at first not included and were not recommended the vaccine, even though they needed it as much as everybody else. And so even with COVID, there was this issue, and we encouraged vaccine manufacturers really to do preclinical trials and animal models to assess the safety of the vaccine on reproduction. So there are certain animal studies that you can do. And then once these studies are conducted and you have early clinical trial data, safety and immunogenicity data in non-pregnant individuals, then you can proceed to studies in pregnant women. And we encouraged vaccine manufacturers to do these studies, these non-clinical studies and these early clinical trials fast so that we would be able to include pregnant women in these bigger studies. And so I think all of this helped to really for vaccine manufacturers to also now, you know, move forward with developing vaccines to be given in pregnancy to protect the young infant from infectious disease. And these are vaccines against respiratory syncytial virus, vaccines against group B strep, cytomegaly virus. And this all is in clinical development. And some of these products are in phase three clinical studies. And I think that's great. And I tried when I was at FTA to really further that agenda and had a lot of discussions in terms of the data that need to be required to really advance a vaccine from use in non-pregnant individuals to pregnant individuals and what, how would this look like, how is that done. And um, I'm very happy to see that this field is taken off now.